got a little girl Knows what she like She like a thunder when she hollers Lightning when she strikes Well that's why Love that little girl I love her so
once you strike Well, that's why Love that little girl I love her so My brother took me to a concert and I got to see Muddy Waters when I was like 13 years old. And that was just such a powerful thing to see Muddy and his band. <clears throat> it was actually a Cheech and Chong concert, but Muddy opened up for them. And uh, I'm just, I was blown away by Muddy. I mean, just to hear that voice and to hear, to see that band. I mean, Cheech and Chong didn't matter after that. Like, you know what I mean? It was like, from then on, who is this Muddy Waters guy? And, uh, you know, it just kind of took me. Blues kind of chose me, you know? I mean, I always wanted to play the harmonica, and I just didn't have the, the guts to go in the store and buy one. I went to Woodstock in 1969. I was 15 years old, and I found the harmonica in the mud, and I started playing then. But I, I grew up in a black neighborhood, and all, all my life, all I heard was blues and soul music. And my neighbors didn't listen to rock and roll. And uh, it was a music that I felt you know, I could listen. You could listen to all kind of music if you don't feel it and it don't give you an emotion inside. It ain't music. <laughs> what it was I think you know my brothers played guitar and I used to like go and pluck on them and then I'd get beat up because I touched their guitars and I said one day I'm gonna have my own guitar man you know and I did and um you know with the help of some good friends and, and a, a good music community in Central Jersey okay we, we come to where we are today you know just playing our own music and not just playing blues you know like we, ne you know, we never changed from the blues thing we've been playing blues since day one you know and, what it, what it is. You gotta pick your head up. Things ain't so bad. You gotta pick your head up. Things ain't so bad. You gotta pick your head up when you're feeling down or feeling sad. Dial 911. Maybe they can rescue me. No. 
song for these times you know and <clears throat> I remember writing it and uh, I was just like man when's this stuff gonna stop you know when's it gonna stop and uh, a friend of mine said pick your head up man keep your head up and so I went home and I was thinking about it and I just wrote that tune pick your head up things ain't so bad you know <laughs> Two years ago, uh, we won the, the International Blues Challenge for the New York Blues and Jazz Society, and we went to Memphis, and uh, <laughs> it was almost like people were looking at us like, well, you know, like, hey, well, we were from New York, you know, we represent New York, and like, uh, okay, you know, giving us that look like, uh, what are you guys going to do, you know? But we showed them, you know, it ain't no blues, like, yeah, blues is blues, but Jersey blues is right out there, what you saw today, man, you know? That's where we're coming from. Kind of on the Chicago side, you know? But Jersey, <laughs> <laughs> Easter River. I don't want to say I live the blues. I'm not crying or nothing. But um, for me, it seems like the last 30 or 40 years, there's been like a little cloud up here that kind of <laughs> follows me, you know. And uh, Blacktop, let's put it, you know, Bobby Blacktop or something. I mean, so I got a lot of stuff to to tell you about, you know. That's how I express it. I'll tell you, you have a bad week or month at work or whatever it is, and you get on that stage and do what we do out there, and all my boys will tell you, man, you come out and you're relieved. Your, your stress is gone, you're, you know what I mean? And the connection that you can make with the audience also is another thing that can, I mean, you're making a connection, and then people are getting into the music. And I think you heard it out there how we, we can connect with a lot of people, you know? I met Bob when, I, I have two sons, my youngest son, when he turned like 13 and started sleeping over a friend's house and stuff, my wife and I would go out. And uh, I'd seen Bob listed many times in the paper. It was the uh, Cruising for a Bluesin' was the name of his band. And we went to go see him plenty of times. And then he started running a jam. And I started sitting in with him at the jam. But I've been playing with him uh, probably about five to seven years now on and off. But he's my favorite. That's why I inducted him into the Blues Hall of Fame because his music comes from his heart definitely comes from his heart. I, I guess that's an international blues hall of fame. It's just cool to be recognized by your peers. You know, it's not a thing like you're going out there lobbying for. You, you've just been playing your whole life and uh, somebody recognized that, you know, you like the blues, you play the blues, and you know, you're a warrior for the blues. That's basically what it is, man. It's, it's, it's kind of a cool thing. <laughs>
Judge, Liam. <laughs> 